Hey, how's it going? Um, made another quick little tutorial on um, our updating our Vector 3D class that we already have. Um, in this one, I just made a uh, cross product um, to find the cross product of uh, two vectors. So, I'll just go ahead and go over kind of the, uh, the algorithm of it. Um, if you don't know, it's A uh, times B, which is equal to A2 times B3 minus A3 times B2. I um, don't really actually feel like going into all that because it's, it's really long. Um, and I'll just go over it uh, in code with you guys. Um, so first thing we're going to do is make another vector 3D class, name a cross product, and then our first parameter is going to be another vector 3D of just A and our second is going to be a vector 3D class of B and this goes exactly with uh, the algorithm so it should be A's and B's so if it's not then you know whatever doesn't matter um, next thing we want to do is just go down here and initialize another vector class so that way we're able to initialize what they are to our A and, A and B's so just go ahead and make another vector 3D and just name it whatever I just name mine X keep it simple um, and then initialize all of them to zero, so that way the program knows that right now x is equal to all zeros. And then we're going to go down here and change those values. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is take the, make the x value the x value of this x right here. So this zero, that's what this is going to equal. Um, it's going to be a times y, or a, uh, the y value of a times the z value of b. So what that means is it's going to take the y value of this vector so whatever you put in your main as the y value it's going to take that value of y and times it by the b or by the z value of b so whatever you put your z value is um, as b that's what it's going to do and then it's going to minus that so um, just go ahead and take a look at it copy it if you need to and um, then when we go to our main file. I also added in, um, in case you lost my last, watch my last one, the polar to cartisan. I made a cartisan to polar, but it's not giving me the right um, y value for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so if you can look at that right there and figure out why it's not giving me the right value, then just email me or send me a message, whatever, and help me fix it. So, But that's there if you, if you want it. So, uh, It gives you the correct uh, x value, but when it comes down here to the y value, it um, just doesn't give me the right, right value. Alright, so when you go into your main, go ahead and just make a vector 3D and name it, I don't know, P, P1. And we'll do points that I already know. So 5, uh, negative 6, 0. And then a vector 3D, P2. And 1, 2, 3. And if you saw the last tutorial, you can do a C out to ask the user to put input the X, Y, and Z, and then just make the X, Y, and Z whatever your CNs were. But I'm not going to do that because this is going to take too long. So then after that, we'll make, come down here and make another vector 3D, and this will be our total. And yeah, the total, sorry. And we'll make that equal to the cross product. And then see, our IntelliSense tells us a vector A, a vector B, and so our vector A will be at P1, and the vector B will be P2. And then we just do total dot print. Okay. Go ahead and run it. 18, 15, 16. Okay. So and then you can go back. That works. You can go back and check it. And as you can see, what was that? Um, x A2, negative 6 times 3 is 18. So that works because the other one was zero. And I don't really like going over it. Um, 
um, but that works. That gives you the cross product. So if you need that for programming class, homework, or you're just in some, you know, I guess cross product is physics, maybe, maybe geometry, algebra, maybe calculus, trigonometry. Works out with all that. So. Um, that was just a quick little thing to add to our physics.h class. So, there's that, and um, I'll be adding some more videos on here shortly.